I wore my shades. I said, thank you, mommy. Thank you, daddy. Thank you, friends and acquaintances of you and me. I'm gone. City girl out. I'm out. See the shoes that I rock is different. All the peas that I get is different. See the ladies that I'm with too different. Nowadays, Hello everybody. How are you doing? Um what's happening? First of all, I have a disclaimer. If you see my pyjama pants at any point during this video, know that I'm currently writing my dissertation and I found that um, filming these videos brings me a lot of joy. I love you guys' comments and it, it's very relaxing for me. So, yeah, and thank you all so much that have subscribed, that watch the videos. Let's keep going now. Let's get right into it. The baddest. Okay, it's better from this angle. Okay, hi guys. So, let's get right into the video. I'm just sitting in the garden um, yeah I'm just kind of like taking a break from writing so I was like why not let me do some makeup and make this video on how I came to England what my process was like and how you can come to that if you want Sha. so um, you know because I like to share information I like to give resources I like to help people make their journeys easier in whatever way I can so let's get into it um, my beloved <laughs> is here because I literally woke up this morning and I was like I need to do this video let me type a draft so that I don't forget anything anyway first of all I did a lot of I not a lot but I researched what schools usually require for the, for applications into UK and when I found them I f the first thing I remember doing was reaching out to my school reaching out to my lecturers to get my transcripts because the transcript process can be very long especially if you went to a Nigerian University they can be so stressful <laughs> so that was one of the first things I got then I started putting my documents together and all of that um, if your international passport is expired when I say international passport I mean this value this pali is so it's more important to you if you're trying to jab eh? why is the upside down <laughs> it's very important it's so make sure that your international passport is up to date it's not expired or anything because that can stall your process get all your documentations ready i know i needed my graduation certificate <laughs> my WIAC results, my international passport, my recommendation letters from my school and from my workplace and you know for some people for some schools they require a test of English for other schools they don't require a test of English so just try and start getting your documentation together as fast as you can then I started thinking about what I wanted to study I actually was in the middle of two things I was between if there's something in digital media um, and branding or psychology so I was like mm, which one should I go for so I spoke to my parents I spoke to my mentors I spoke to my friends I checked for I, I compared my qualifications to what they would be requiring and yeah I kind of now decided that okay this is what I want to study so that's how I settled on psychology then I reached out to UK EAS I know this is not a promo video for UK EAS but shout out to you Mr. Festus you made my journey very brilliant I reached out to UK EAS um, because they support with admissions and all of that to UK and their services are completely free so um, they helped and guided me through the process I signed up to their database I was assigned a guardian I don't know what a mentor or something so he was the one helping me with my process then I started crying <laughs> because let me tell you what nobody tells you about applications applications are a full-time job <laughs> applications like 
they involve a lot of patience tears maybe not tears for everybody maybe me i'm just ah, a big baby but i remember just crying i don't know what's going on with the lighting yeah i remember just crying a lot because i was like oh my god this is so stressful so shout out to you dara because the next step Dara really helped me a lot with it um so basically we created an excel spreadsheet um i think it was a google document shall we had a spreadsheet so that both of us could like add things and remove it and it basically co contained the names of schools i was interested in the scholarships because we're trying to save money so anywhere you can save money apply for the scholarship apply for the grants anything yes so we searched for schools that had scholarships that um were bps accredited because if you're going to study any course you have to check that there's no extra if there's an extra accreditation you want to get ensure that course already offers it so that you don't finish the course and then your degree is invalid or you can't use it immediately and then you have to now do another course or something so you want to make sure of that we included the deadlines for applications the school fees the budget like the city budget i mean these were like the city budget was an estimate but basically like the rough amount you spend on food um, transportation accommodation everything so that we'll see the one that was most feasible and then huh, when i started getting admissions so the getting admissions took a while actually it took about mm, two weeks two three weeks for the admissions to start pouring in i sat down with my last three options i think the last three options i had were university of bath essex and nottingham trent university so i was like oh which one do i want to go to which one do i want to go to and then i kind of weighed my options and figured out the one best suited for me or me so it's important to note that was more was best suited for me might not be best suited for you and that's okay still so that's kind of what i did and then i liked ntu because i wanted to be in an old quiet city excuse me sorry tea break i wanted to be in an old quiet city and um um what else it was more affordable i liked the fact that ntu online seemed very friendly very warm very hospitable not that the other universities didn't but it was just a preference for me anyways so when i accepted the application letter then i did the long wait for my cast was that was the full meaning if i don't remember i'll kind of type it somewhere Anyway, I waited for my cast to come. So every day I'll be like, hello, Mr. Festus, has it come? Hello, Mr. Festus, I've not gotten an email. Hello, UK, yes, I've not gotten an email. Hello, 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 hello. <laughs> oh my God, it was stressful. Like, I used to be so worked up. Then after that, I paid the immigration health surcharge and the initial payments we were meant to do. Then, and now went through and i went to the tuberculosis test battle so um I, I remember going to the bank making a payment for the tuberculosis test then going online to pick a date so you want to pick a tuberculosis date and um, test date very early because girl it could be a process it can be very long like i remember like the first date was they gave me was it was very late it was like one month after or something so my friend had to go to the tuberculosis test place to do something anyways so i remember like asking the guy i was like don't tell anybody i told you this so don't tell anybody i told you this if not you're on your own i remember like i was just begging the guy that oh god i beg this thing is too long and everything so he kind of like gave me an earlier date so i did the test then i carried all my documentation my certificates proof of funds um all the receipts everything and then 
applied for a visa. <laughs> when I applied for the visa, <laughs> I was having nightmares. Every time I'll be like, Mommy, I don't know if they'll give me this thing. Mommy will say, Relax your mind, relax, stop panicking. I'm like, Hey, as in, I will not be able to sleep well. I was so scared, so scared because I was like, ah, If they don't give me all the money we've invested, everything, my hopes, and all, ha, I, I think I'd already quit my job self. I was like, Yeah, Mogbe. <laughs> This is crazy. When then after that, I waited for my visa. Obviously, by the time you're in that process, you can start working towards your ticket. If you have faith like me, may I had, um, I drive by my ticket before my visa came or after. Anyway, after I got my visa, mm, I wore my shades. Mm. I said, "Thank you, mommy." Thank you, Daddy. Thank you, friends and acquaintances of you and me. I'm gone. City girl out. I'm out. <laughs> bye. See you. Cheers, everybody. No, for real, I was like, bye, mommy. Bye, Daddy. Bye, Aramide. Bye, Toby. Bye, my friends and my loved ones. Bye, my guys. Um. Oof. My Nigerian passport finally came through. Anyway, those are just like the steps I went through um, in in um, in coming here. So I hope you enjoyed it. Please like it, share, leave a comment. I hope it was very informative. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe and see you next time. <sighs> I love you guys so much. Thank you for being here. <laughs>